Hello YouTubers, I am back again with another washing machine video. Um, this one is more of a satisfy my curiosity type of video. And I was wondering if the Sidekick washer is actually more efficient than just running the front loader. Um, if you own this set, you know that these are pretty water efficient. They fill the water based on the weight of the clothes you put inside of them. So to make this comparison as apples to apples as possible, I am only going to use three shirts. They're all the same size. Um, and basically what I want to know is if it's more efficient, is it more, is it more efficient to run? Because if you care about these type of machines, you're probably going to be, um, on the side of wanting to be, you know, as environmentally friendly as possible. Um, and, you know, sometimes I would run my psychic washer as opposed to the big one whenever I needed something really small. And I just got curious, you know, it's not faster. It takes like 32, 35 minutes on a regular cycle. Um, and if I wash something really small in my front loader, it can get it done in like 25 minutes. And then, you know, because of the nature of a top loader, which the sidekick is basically set up similar to, um, I was curious if it ran more water as well. So today, if you think anything like me and you were curious, we're about to find out. Okay, one, two, three. This fits in pretty comfortably. You know what? Let's just make it four. They're literally all the same shirt, uniform. Um, a drop of tide. Actually dirty. I'm gonna have to form my test. I don't like to waste too much, so I try and wait till I actually have to do laundry so that I'm not just pissing water out of the drain. Um, okay, so glue that down securely. Power it on. I'm gonna keep everything factory. I'm not sure if this can be seen. No, it cannot. Okay. Um, so I have four shirts in here. They're uniform shirts, literally the same size, drop a tide. I'm gonna run the machine as if I was, you know, normally. Um, we're gonna do one normal wash per machine. Um, and we're gonna compare everything. Time, how long it takes, how much water it uses, and we're gonna get down to if this thing is worth running or not. Um, or if it's a, you know, a gimmick. I can think of a few scenarios in which it can still be useful. I don't really want to like shatter the dreams of people who spent the money for this thing. Um, if, you know, if you happen to own one, but if you use this as opposed to the front loader um, for efficiency purposes, we're gonna find out if, it, if that's worth it or not. And that's considering if it loses. I think the front loader is going to win, but um, we're going to find out for sure. So, regular wash. Wow. All right, so a normal wash is 39 minutes on this thing. Obviously, it wants me to close the door. I can tell you right now, a normal wash on this boy is going to be way faster than 39 minutes. So, if it doesn't use less water, this thing's going to look like a huge waste of time um but let's find out so over here excuse my messy basement i like live out my laundromat i just got 
Um, this is where I'm going to be collecting the water. Um, I don't know the exact gallons. But what I'm going to end up doing is ha making sure that it's leveled. And then I'm going to stick a tape measure inside of the water and measure how deep it is for the sidekick washer and how deep it is for the front load washer. At this point, because you guys can't see what is going on, it's going to be like paint drying. So I'm not going to prolong this video. Um, to keep everything as transparent as I can, um, although I have no reason to side with one or the other, these are my machines, I bought them, um, I'm going to film, but I'm going to definitely speed this part of the video up so you don't have to sit there and watch 38 minutes of uh, nothing. Um, I guess I'll try and get the... The, um, the drain and the machine in the same shot. And I'm going to go upstairs and prepare dinner. Hopefully this shit doesn't make a mess while I'm gone. I'll be back. And enjoy. Okay, finally, we have the drain of the first wash cycle. Well, first and only. Um, towards the end of this video, I'm going to point out all the other reasons why you should probably use this guy. Um, And yeah, I'll get to that in a second.
one thing I can say about this washer, it's uh, no nonsense. Um, it gets straight to the point. It just fills and it just drains. Wherever you know these things, they take so many weird, unnecessary breaks in the fill cycle and in the drain cycle. But I guess because of the long wash time itself, it still ends up being 39 minutes, which is kind of crazy. All right, and we appear to be done. It's hard to tell right now. But um, yeah, at the end of the video, I'm gonna take a measuring stick and find out exactly where we are. Probably gonna produce a little bit more water once it starts to spin and get the moisture out of the clothes. I'll just leave this here. Um, check out my food. Oh, one more thing. You're gonna hear a beeping noise in a moment. That's gonna be the sidekick calling for you to basically to pause the machine and add your fabric softener. Um, and I was also gonna be one of the reasons why you wanna just use this one because you don't have to babysit it. Whereas this one, well, which is why you wanna use the front loader because this one, you would have to actually be here physically to add the fabric softener as opposed to just adding it and letting the machine dispense it when it's time. But, um, yeah, let the test continue. Okay, 
Sounds like we are at about full speed on the spin. So I don't think it's going to be extracting any more water. Is water. All right, so I'm going to dump this out and Dump this out, and um, then I'm gonna wash four shirts in this guy, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. May the best machine win. I have no idea if I'm gonna make this one video or two separate videos. I'm probably gonna make it two, so stay tuned for the next video or click on the next video. Uh, I'm probably going to put it in the description of this one at some point. Um, I'm not good at editing, but I am going to try and squeeze this 46 minute video down into something reasonable. Um, just because as a YouTube watcher, I kind of prefer people to get to the point. But, I like the details too, so I'm like, I'm going to try and give you guys something random in you in the middle. Alright, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, um, yeah, it's into the cycle, 39 minutes, ridiculous, um, yeah, we'll see.